Namaste. My name is Liz Lind, and this is a chakra balancing practice. Throughout this practice, we'll be opening different energy centers, energy pathways, and paying attention to places in our body, in our mind, and in our heart that may need a little, may need a little extra attention or may feel a little bit out of balance. With the techniques, the movements, and the intention that we'll be using, we'll be creating balance, openings, and inner peace and integration. So let's start by closing our eyes. Notice your breath. Where do you feel it in your body? Notice your body. Where do you feel stiff or sore? Where do you feel open? Notice your thoughts. What's on your mind right now? Notice any emotions that are present. With all of this information that's coming to your awareness, notice if whatever it is you're experiencing is beneficial or if it's constricting, if it's creating some blockages. Taking note of what may be challenging, what may be blocked, what may be painful. Set an intention about finding balance, about opening and healing. We'll bring this intention into the present, the here and the now, by chanting OM three times together. As we OM, we'll inhale to bring the arms forward and up and exhale Direct our palms in towards our own energy body, pranamaya kosha, massaging ourselves with the sacred sound. Let's do it three times together. Inhale, exhale to Om. Om. Place your hands on your knees and begin by finding some pelvic tilts. Gently rock forward and back across your sitting bones, unlocking the pelvis, bringing awareness to the pelvic floor, the region of our root chakra, muladhara. Notice if this movement is easy, is fluid, or if it's blocked and uncomfortable. Find some circles with your rib cage over your pelvis. Reverse direction. Back to neutral stack, shoulders over hips. Circle the shoulders three times one way. And three times the other way. Circle one shoulder forward and one backward. Reverse. Circle both shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Look up to the sky and drop your chin down to your throat. Point your chin up. Lower it down. One more time. Bring your head to neutral, look left, and look right. Left and right, chin over shoulder. Left and right. Back to center with the head, drop one ear to one shoulder other ear to other shoulder. Two more times, side to side.
Back to neutral with your head, drop your chin down to your throat and make half circles. Pull your ear over to one shoulder, roll your head back through center, ear to other shoulder. We can go a little bit farther back than ear to shoulder, but don't cross the midline. Don't cross the, the cervical vertebrae, the shape of the spine of the neck. Don't like to move in that direction. And chin to throat. Lift the head. Notice what's different in your physical body after these easy spinal warm ups. Tune back into your breath. Diaphragmatic breathing. Expand the lower ribs. Expand the ribs in all directions. Lift the chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. We'll come into a round of alternate nostril breathing, or Nadi Shodhana. Our chakras are energy centers that exist at the intersection of our three primary nadis, Ida, Pingala, and Sushumna. And this energy chant, this uh, breathing exercise, helps to cleanse and balance the Ida and Pingala nadis, which respectively correspond to our left and right nostrils. So this is a wonderful breathing exercise to use to nourish and balance our energy body. With your right hand, bring your hand in front of your face in Vishnu Mudra or Deer's Head Mudra with the ring finger and the thumb extended. Some people can do this. You can extend your pinky and pin your ring finger back with your pinky. That could help. You could also rest your two middle fingers, pointer finger and middle finger, at your third eye point. Some people think that that feels better. So find the shape that works for you. Inhale through both nostrils. Cover your right nostril with your thumb. Exhale through the left nostril. Four, three, two, one. Inhale through the left nostril. Four, three, two, one. Release the thumb. Exhale through the right nostril. Four, three, two, one. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Keep going at your own pace. You can make the breath and the spaces between the breaths a little bit longer, but don't create any strain or stress in your body. Keep it comfortable. Our left nostril corresponds to the Ida Nadi the more lunar energy pathway. And our right nostril corresponds to Pingala Nadi, our more solar activating energy pathway. This breathing technique balances the solar and lunar aspects that each of us embody. And it's the perfect remedy for everyone. There's no one that this won't work for unless one nostril is blocked. That's the contraindication there, it won't be possible. On your next exhale through your left nostril, Release your hand back down to your lap. Breathe naturally through both nostrils and notice the effect. Inhale, stretch your arms out and up to the sky. Interlace your fingers, arch your back. Exhale, round forward, stretch your palms. Inhale, arch up. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, separate the hands. Exhale, a nice easy twist to your right. 
untwist. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, a nice easy twist to your left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. One more time on each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Reach your arms out and up. Exhale, touch your fingertips to the ground on either side of your seat. Inhale, reach up and over to your right. And it really doesn't matter which side you do first. Back through center, exhale to the other side. Inhale up and exhale over. Inhale up and exhale over. And one more time on each side. Back through center, hands to knees, little rib cage circles. Notice how your body feels now. What parts in your body are calling your attention? What thoughts, what emotions, what's happening beneath the surface? We're going to chant the Bija mantras associated with each chakra. Lam for the root. Vam for the sacral. Ram for the solar plexus. Yam for the heart, Ham for the throat, Sham for the third eye, Om for the crown. We'll do them one time slowly, call and response, and then we'll do them in groups a little bit faster together. So we'll start off repeating after me. Lam, your turn. Lam, your turn. Lam, Vam, Vam. Vam, Ram, Ram, Ram. Yam, 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 Ham. Hum. Hum. Sham. Sham. Sham, Om, 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 
Continue repeating after me. We're going to put them together. Lam, bam, ram. Lam, bam, ram. Lam, bam, ram. Yam, ham, sham. Yam ham sham Yam ham sham Oh Oh. And repeat after me one more time. Lam bam ram, yam ham sham. Oh, your turn. Again, lam bam ram yam ham sham om. Your turn. And one more time, lam bam ram yam ham sham om. And let's do it one time together. Lam bam ram yam ham sham oh. Notice your physical body. Notice your thoughts, your emotions, what's moving, what's stuck. Lean back, stretch out your legs, circle your ankles. Circle your ankles the other way. Bend your knees, bring your feet as wide as your mat. Drop your knees from side to side. And back to center, bring the soles of your feet together or close together and with your thumbs, make circles along the inner arch of your foot, starting at your heel, working along the medial arch up to the mound of the big toe and all the way up to the big toe itself. And do that again. The reflexology points that we're activating roughly correspond to our spine. Heel is the lumbar, arch is thoracic, cervical is the mound of the big toe. Massage each toe, our sense organs. Massage the bottoms of the feet. So our root chakra relates to our feet, our legs, and our pelvic floor. Massage the tops of the feet the ankles, inner legs. Take your left hand, place one finger in between each toe on your right foot. So the sole of your foot is against the palm of your hand. Wiggle your toes, stretch the toes and the feet. Do the same thing on the other side. 
one finger in between each toe, palm to sole, wiggle the toes. Massage around the inner ankle bone. All the way up the shin, one more time. Bring your feet to the mat, hands behind you, fingers facing forward. Exhale, lift your hips up, engage the pelvic floor. Inhale, slide your hips back between your wrists. Two more times, lift the hips up, lift the pelvic floor. Straight legs, hips back. One more time. Release your hips, cross your ankles, find your way onto your hands and your knees. Spread your fingers out wide, have your knees beneath your hips, hands under your shoulders, circle your weight over your hands and wrists. Circle the weight three times the other way. Back to neutral on all fours, inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, arch, widen the collarbones, lift the chin. Exhale, scoop the tailbone under, wave through the spine. Turn on your ujjayi breathing, ocean sounding breath. Come to a neutral spine, sway your hips to the right, look to the right. Sway your hips to the left, look to the left. Look right. Look left. Look right. And left. Come back to neutral. Tuck your toes under, toe crunch pose. Walk your hands back, sit your heels uh, sit your hips right on top of your heels with the toes flexed. Close your eyes, breathe into the soles of your feet. The root chakra also connects us with the earth element. So with every breath, visualize yourself rooting, feeling a little more grounded, a little more in your body. We're going to find a round of breath of fire. This is a forceful exhale and a forceful inhale. We'll move the arms with the breath. As we exhale, the hands will flick. As we inhale, the arms will come back in. We're in the toe crunch, toes tucked under the whole time. Breath looks like this. Exhale, inhale. Once we're a few into it, we'll open the arms out to the side. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. A few more into that. We'll exhale up, inhale down. I'll guide us through the whole thing. So starting forward, inhale to a comfortable level and begin breath of fire. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Three, two, one, to the sides. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Three, two, one, to the ceiling. Exhale, inhale. Three, two, one, inhale. Exhale the hands down, inhale, arch your back, exhale, tap the tops of your feet on the mat. Return to your natural breath, keep tapping the tops of the feet. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips, press back into downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels, shift the hips side to side. Do what you need to do to get a deep stretch in each leg. Lift up onto your tiptoes, flex the feet, stretch the bottoms of the feet, inhale. Exhale, lower the heels down and back without locking the knees. Inhale up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, heels down and back. One more time, inhale up onto your toes. Exhale, heels down and back. 
Open your feet as wide as the mat, heels angled inward, toes angled outward, sway your hips from side to side. Lean your hips all the way over to the right. Three breaths here. Hips all the way to the left. Three breaths here. And back to neutral. Bring your heels together. Toes out, sway your hips side to side. Lean your hips all the way over to the right. Hips all the way to the left. Neutral with your hips, shift forward into a plank as if you have a mermaid tail, heels together, toes out. Bend your knees, drop your hips back to your heels, squeeze your legs together, engage the pelvic floor, shift the shoulders forward over the wrists. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Eight more times. Four, three, two, and one. Send your hips back to the sky in downward facing dog. Feet as wide as the shoulders, glide one time through upward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, press back through downward facing dog. Open your feet as wide as your mat, heels in, toes out. Walk your hands back to your feet and squat down into Malasana. Engage the pelvic floor, tap into a buoyant quality within, so you're not sinking all the way into your squat. There's a lift, palms together in front of your heart, lift your toes, press the knees open to activate the arches. Prop your right knee open, reach your left arm to the sky, look up to your top thumb, send your heart forward, and three breaths, exhale, reach across and down to your opposite hand. Inhale, reach across and up, heart forward. Two. And one. Come back through center, heart to thumbs. Prop the other knee open, reach up to the sky, spine to inner thigh, reach, find that buoyancy. And three times, reach across and down, across and up. Two, and up, one, and up. Come back through center, release your hands down, lift your hips up, inch your feet so they're beneath your hips. Soften your knees, rest your belly on your thighs, hang forward, tuck your hand into your opposite elbow and gently sway side to side. Bring your hands to your shins, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, fold over your legs, press into your feet, roll yourself up to standing. Roll all the way up onto your tiptoes, reach your arms out and up to the sky. Interlace your fingers, stretch tall. Lower your heels, lift your toes, squat down. Rise back up onto your tiptoes, inhale. Exhale, arms down. Repeat. Inhale, arms out and up. Lift onto your tiptoes. Interlace your fingers, palms to the sky. Squat down, toes up. Rise back up to standing. Lift your heels. Exhale, arms down, heels down. 
One more time. Inhale, lift up. Stretch tall. Engage the pelvic floor as you lower back down. Activating the legs and the feet. Come back up high onto your tiptoes. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Close your eyes. Root through your feet. Engage the pelvic floor. Visualize the energy moving upward from your feet to your crown. And walk to the top of your mat. Notice the sensation in your feet, legs, and pelvic floor. And bring the awareness up to your hips. Moving to the Svadhisthana Chakra, water element. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Grab onto your right wrist, side bend to your left. Inhale through center, stretch through your left side and bend to your right. Inhale through center, exhale, hands to low back. Send your hips forward, lift your heart. Exhale, hinge from the hips, interlace your fingers, stretch your arms overhead. Bring your hands to your shins, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, hands to the floor, right leg steps back into a low lunge. Drop the back knee, interlace your fingers, Anjali Mudra, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Gently press into your hands as you take your back foot and point it to the left. Lead with your right arm, glide up into a low warrior two. And three times lift up, stack shoulders over hips, knee over ankle and glide forward. Lift up and glide forward. Lift up and glide forward. Reverse this low warrior two. Exhale, hands come down to the floor to frame the foot. Point your back toes straight behind you. Press into your right hand. Twist the left arm to the sky. Exhale, the left hand down. Tuck your toes under, send the left leg back and high to the sky. Circle your ankle three times one way, three times the other way. Bend your knee, heel to bum, circle from your hip joint three times one way. And three times the other way. Send the leg way high to the sky. Lower the leg. Shift forward into a high plank. Heels together, toes out. Six times back and forward. Four. Three. Two. And one. High plank. Bend your knees. Touch them down to the mat. Bend your elbows, lower your chest right in between your hands. Tilt the tailbone, roll through the spine, come into a low cobra, inhale. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Step your toes together. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Circle your ankle three times. Reverse direction. Bend your knee, heel to bottom, circle from the hip joint three times. Paint the circles with your knee. Reverse. Send the leg way, way high, inhale. Exhale, foot forward between your hands. Drop the back knee, interlace your fingers. Kali Mudra, low lunge, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Swivel your toes over to the right. Lead with the left arm, low warrior two. And three times reach up, press into the front foot. Reach forward, glide the knee out over your ankle. Two. And one. Reach forward and reverse your low warrior two, inhale. Exhale, hands come down to frame your front foot. Point the back toes back, press into the left hand, twist your right arm to the sky, right hand down. 
Tuck your back toes under, lift your knee, inhale, exhale, push off your back foot, step your feet so they're as wide as your hips or shoulders. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Hands can come to the shins or the thighs. Exhale, fold over your legs, press into your feet. Roll up to standing, rise up onto your tiptoes, interlace your fingers, stretch tall. Squat down, lift the toes, drop the heels. Rise back up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, heels down, arms down. Palms together in front of your heart. Cleansing breath. Inch the feet so the heels are under the sitting bones. Inhale, reach your arms out and up to the sky. Grab your right wrist, bend to the left. Back through center, grab the left wrist, bend to your right. Back through center, hands to low back. Arch your back, lift your heart. Forward fold, interlace your fingers, stretch your arms overhead. Hands to shins, flat back. Hands to the mat, left foot steps back. Roll up to standing, high lunge, inhale. Ground the back heel, open warrior two. Sweep forward and reverse your warrior two. Exhale, hands to the mat. Spin onto your back, tiptoes, twist your right arm to the sky, keep your hips even. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, right leg back and up. Three ankle circles, reverse, heel to bum, three hip circles, and reverse. Send the leg way up high and lower it down. Heels together, toes out, shift forward, mermaid plank. Six times, squat back and squeeze forward. Hips lower than your shoulders. Integrating earth and water elements. From a high plank, drop onto your knees, chest and chin. Roll through your spine, lift into a low cobra, and press back into downward facing dog. Step your toes together. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Circle your ankle three times. Reverse. Heel to bottom, circle from your hip joint three times. And reverse. Send the leg clear to the sky, breathe in, exhale. Left foot steps forward between your hands. Roll up into a high lunge. Open into warrior two. Sweep forward and reverse warrior two. Exhale, hands to the mat. Spin onto the back tiptoes, left arm twists to the sky. Left hand grounds down, inhale. Exhale, step up. Feet as wide as the hips, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold over the legs, press into your feet. Roll all the way up onto your tiptoes. Interlace your fingers, stretch high. Drop the heels, squat down, and roll back up. Heels down, palms to heart, close your eyes, cleansing breath. Direct the focus inward, notice what you feel and where you feel it. What's open, what's moving what thoughts, what emotions. Big toes touching, softness in the knees, root through the feet. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, take your right leg all the way up, nice and high. Exhale, step the right foot forward between your hands. Drop the back knee. Inhale, lift the arms up into Anjaneyasana. Press the palms together, point the fingertips to the sky. Scissor the inner thighs together, keep your hips pointing straight ahead and the top crest of the pelvis even from left to right. The left hip may wanna dip down, the right hip may wanna ride up. Keep the hips even and pull the right hip back. Breath four. 
three, two, and one. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor on the inside of the foot. Tuck the back toes under, lift the knee. Walk your hands to the left, point your toes to the left. Keep your feet flat on the floor and the outer edges of your feet parallel to each other. Put a slight bend in the left knee. Keep your shoulders even with your hips. Straighten out the left leg, slight bend in the right knee, shoulders even with the hips. Two more times on each side. There are many ways to do this side lunge, Skandasana. By keeping the feet flat, we are addressing the hips, getting into the hips at this specific angle, which may feel like more sensation for some of us, less sensation for others. Straighten out both legs. Angle your heels in and your toes out. Bend your knees. Walk your hands up to your inner thighs. Bend the knees even more. Lift and open across the chest. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, right shoulder to midline. Left shoulder pulls back. Gently twist. Come through center. Other side. Twist. Come through center and twist. Center and twist. Last time on each side. Back through neutral, stack your shoulders over your hips. Make a downward pointing triangle with your hands right over your lower belly. Circle your hips five times one way. and five times the other way. Get a little bit lower into this goddess pose. Inhale, reach your arms out and up to the sky, palms touch overhead. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Two more breaths like that. Inhale, knees press open over ankles, palms to heart. One more time, lift your toes and center. Straighten out your back leg, angle your front toes forward, warrior two. Reach forward, reverse your warrior two. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Spin onto your back tiptoes, sweep the right leg back and up, and lower that leg down. Shift forward through a high plank, lower down through chaturanga, slide over your toes, upward facing dog, hips to the sky, Downward facing dog. Step your toes together, take the left leg up high and place the left foot forward in between your hands. Drop the back knee, interlace your fingers, reach your arms up in Anjane Asana. Connect with your breath. Keep your hips even. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor on the inside of the foot. Lift the back knee, point your toes to the right. Same thing, but this time, keep the right heel grounded, point your left toes to the sky, and go back and forth, side to side, three times on each side, going a little bit lower than we did the first time, changing the positioning of the feet. This may feel more, this may feel less. And last one. Straighten out both legs, heels in, toes out. Walk your hands up to your knees. Inhale, exhale, twist. Back through center, twist. Back through center and twist. Back through center and twist. Once more on each side. Stack your shoulders over your hips, hands to low belly, downward pointing triangle, hip circles. And reverse. Get a little bit lower. Exhale. 
and a little bit lower, just the arms. Inhale out and up, palms touch, and in front of the heart. Two more times, big inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Warrior two, bend the left leg, right leg straight, reach forward and reverse. Exhale, hands down to frame the foot. Sweep the leg back and up to the sky in three-legged dog. Lower through plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Come onto your knees, open your knees wide, and rest in a wide knee child's pose. Melt your heart, melt the back of your heart, forehead down, connect with your breath, and check in. Notice what you feel in this shape, notice how the energy is moving, notice what's on your mind. Moving into the fire element our core, our center, our digestion, our understanding. Come up through all fours, tuck your toes, press back through downward facing dog. Five times, hop your heels to your bum. and then hop your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back, big toes touching, space between your heels, outer edges of your feet parallel to each other. Fold over your legs, bend your knees, stretch your arms forward and grab onto your opposite elbow. Make a letter T shape with your body, the lines from your elbows to your sitting bones, parallel to each other and parallel to the floor. Lift your toes up, lean back into your heels, squeeze your thighs together, Squeeze through your glutes and peel your chest open. Open your arms into cactus shape arms and lift and reach back. With the arms, reach them up, inhale. Lion's breath, cactus arms. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, stick out your tongue, open up your eyes, spread your fingers. One more time. Reach your arms up, bring your palms together, sit back a little bit lower, inhale. Exhale, twist to your right, tuck your upper arm bone to your outer thigh bone. Stack your palms, lift the gaze. Keep your knees even. Breath five, four, three, two, and one. Stay in chair pose, untwist, inhale. Exhale, lion's breath, cactus arms. <sighs> Inhale, arms up, palms together. Sit back a little bit deeper. Inhale, exhale, twist left. Stack your palms, knees even. Straight line, elbow to elbow. On twist, stand all the way up, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold over your legs. Lift your eyes, stand all the way up, reach your arms, keep your heels grounded. Bend your elbows, touch the back of your heart. Inhale, palms together, cleansing breath. Notice that heat that's picking up, that power of purification, of alchemy, of transformation. Open up your eyes, rock back and forth across the bottoms of your feet. Root through your left foot, plug in the three corners of your feet, draw up through your arches, activate the inner line of the leg, focus your eyes, Related to the fire element, draw the right knee into the chest. Lower the legs to the thighs parallel to the ground. Hold on to the front of the knee. Reach your left arm high to the sky. 
Bring your hand to the inside of the knee. Open your knee to the right. Open your hand to the left. Turn and look to the left. Reach your arm to the sky, point your knee straight ahead, hold on to the outside of the knee with the left hand. Reach your right arm to the sky, grow taller and taller and taller. Reach the right arm back behind you and twist. Turn and look to your thumb. Untwist, reach both arms up. Coil the knee into the chest, touch your thigh to your belly. Extend the leg, reach with your toes, hold it five, four, three. Use your eyes to activate that inner fire. And ground, palms to heart, root through both feet. Close your eyes, notice where in your body you feel it, what emotions you feel, what thoughts you're thinking, your whole process. Take it in as data, no need to judge it, just observe it. Just honor it, allow it to be what it is. Part of your growth, part of your healing. Open up your eyes, ignite that inner fire. Root through the right foot, plug in the three corners, draw up through the arch, activate the inner line of the leg. Hug the knee, left knee into your chest. Lower the leg so the thighs parallel to the ground. Left hand holds left knee, reach your right arm to the sky. Smile helps lift the energy. Hold on to the inside of the knee, open the leg to the left, open the arm to the right. Turn and look to your right hand. Bring the knee back to center, reach your right arm to the sky, hold on to the outside of the knee. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, twist to the left, turn and look to your back thumb. And untwist, reach both arms to the sky, coil your thigh into your chest, lift from your heart space, lift from your armpits and extend the leg, hold it five. Inner fire being strengthened, getting stronger, getting brighter. Two and one. Ground the foot back down. Open your feet as wide as your mat and twist. Massaging your organs of digestion, massaging the spine and the nervous system. Find stillness and step back up to the top of the mat. Moving up to our heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Touch the back of your heart space. Reach up and forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step, step back into downward facing dog. Shift forward into a high plank and slowly lower onto your belly. Four, three, two, and one. Stretch your arms forward. Press your forehead down, your hands down, your arms down, your feet down, your legs down. Press everything firmly down into the mat. Imprint yourself into the earth. Press, 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 press. Three, two, one. And release, relax. Again, press, 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 press from the back of your heart space. Press everything down as hard as you can, as strong and solid as you can. And release. And one more time, press, 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 everything down, press, 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 five, four, three, two, 
one, and release. Keep your left arm and your left leg stretching. Reach back for your right ankle. If you can't reach your right ankle, you can keep your arm and your leg straight and just lift with the arm and the leg straight. If you can reach your ankle, grab onto it. Press the left side down and reach the right side up. Half bow. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, press down with a little more intention. Lifting up and pressing down at the same time. Hold it five, four, expanding the heart space, breathing deeply into the chest and lungs. Release down, both arms, both legs, press, 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 press. Relax, other side, reach back, grab your ankle, press firmly with the right side, pull back and up on the left. Pressing down and lifting up at the same time. Inhale, lift, exhale, press. Air element, prana moving through every last hidden bit of our bodies. Nourishing, unblocking, release. Press, 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 arms and legs. Bend your knees, reach back and grab your ankles. Lift your chest, lift your thighs, lean back and expand from your heart space. Like your chest is a sail catching the wind, lift and lean back. Feel the lightness that the air element will bestow upon us. The effortlessness that we can tap into when we're in that place of buoyancy, that upward moving current of vitality. Lift four, three, two, and one. Release down, arms by your side. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. One more time, turn your head to the right. Come into a pinwheel pose. Bend your left arm so your fingers are pointing up. Bend your right arm so your fingers are pointing back. Bend your left knee. So your leg is coming out to the side, moving into the throat chakra. Pinwheel to the other side, turn your head to the right. Right elbow bends, fingers pointing up. Left elbow bends, fingers pointing back. Right knee comes out to the side. 10 Come back to neutral. Reach back and grab your ankles. Pull up into a bow pose. Open through the throat center. And together we'll chant the sound of Om. Full breath in, exhale to Om. Om. Release down gently and press back into child's pose. Move from child's pose onto your hands and knees, five times back and forth.
Press back into child's pose. Reach around and grab your heels. Tuck your forehead in a little bit closer to your knees and roll onto the flat part of your head. Stretch your arms in rabbit pose. Gentle constriction, contraction in the throat center. Massaging thyroid and parathyroid glands. Putting gentle pressure on the crown and a deep stretch for the spine. Expand the space behind your heart. Breath four, three, two, and one. Release back into child's pose. Stretch your arms forward and roll from side to side across your forehead. Massaging your third eye center against the earth. And then massage your entire skull against your mat, gently rolling, putting a little bit of weight, a little bit of pressure on your whole crown, moving from the third eye up to the crown. Massaging the skull, relieving any uneven pressure between the bones of the skull. Massage every single hair follicle against the earth, against your mat. You have the option to lift up into a headstand if that's something that's part of your practice. Or just continue rolling the crown like I'm doing against your mat. If you're all the way up in a headstand, come back down. Press back into child's pose once again. Connect with your breath. Check in with your body. Notice what you feel. Notice where you feel it. Notice your thoughts. And slowly and gently, find your way onto your back with your knees hugged into your chest. Still working the throat, third eye and crown, arms long by your sides. Stretch your legs up to the sky and tip your toes to the floor, towards the floor, back behind your head. Keep any pressure out of your neck. If there's any discomfort in the neck, then just keep the knees into the chest. Shoulder blades and arms activated. Gentle pressure in the neck and the throat, Jalandhara Bandha. Bring your hands around to support your low back. Lift up into a supported shoulder stand. Again, pressure in the shoulder blades and the arms. Cross your right leg over your left leg. Tuck your right foot, foot back behind your left ankle into eagle legs. And bring your knee down to your third eye. Put a little pressure on your third eye point with your knee. Right in between your eyebrows. Release the legs, cross them in the opposite way, left leg over right, knee to third eye. Release the legs up to the sky. Bring both knees in towards your forehead or even knees to ears, ear pressure pose. Again, no discomfort in the neck. And slowly release. Lower yourself down onto your back, one bone at a time. 
Hug the knees into the chest. Pick your head and your shoulders up. Squeeze your forehead into your knees. Lower your head and your shoulders back down. Hold on to the fronts of your knees. Stretch the thighs away and pull them back in. Four more times. Two, and one. And extend your legs all the way down on the mat. We'll come into fish pose. Shimmy your arms underneath your back so that your sitting bones are on your forearms. Arms are as close together as you can get them. Spread your fingers out. Arch your back like somebody just put an ice cube down your shirt. Lift your chest, point your chin to the sky, and open your throat. Breath four, three, two, and one. Gently lower yourself back down. Roll the arms out from underneath. Hug your knees into your chest, forehead to knees once again. Stretch the spine. And lower down. Open your arms like a T. Feet to the floor, cross your right thigh over your left, drop your knees over to the left, turn your head to the right. Back through center, switch your legs, scoot your hips a little over to the left, drop your knees to the right, turn your head to the left. Back through center, uncross your legs. Squeeze your forehead into your knees and then stretch everything out. Lay flat on your back, open up your feet, open up your palms, open up your heart space. And in this shape, notice the energy of the feet, the legs, and the pelvic floor. The energy of the root chakra grounding and stable. The energy of the pelvis, the water element, fluid. The energy of your abdomen, up to your diaphragm, the fire element, Manipura chakra. Your chest, your heart, your lungs, Anahata chakra. Your throat, your truth center, your third eye center for insight, intuition, and imagination, and your crown, connection to source. Notice the energy moving through your whole body, what it feels like, where it's open, where it's resisting, where it's still blocked. It will all open in the perfect timing. We can't force it. We can only nurture and support it. Wherever you are in your process, have full acceptance and compassion and love. As you settle into a moment of deep relaxation, of stillness and quiet.
Begin to deepen your breath. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Remember the intention that you set in the beginning of this practice. Direct your energy there. Fill up with gratitude. Start to gently wiggle, gently stretch. Slowly find your way up to seated. Your palms together in front of your heart. Repeat mentally the seed syllables for each chakra, Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Sham, Om, just to yourself internally a few times all the way through. Notice your energy channels running from your root to your crown, unblocked, prana rising. And we'll close our practice by chanting Om together. Inhale. Exhale to Om. Om. Hari Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Thank you so very much for practicing with me. I hope you feel balanced, open, and clear. Enjoy your day.